All right, so what's going on, guys? Not a happy camper. Got my truck back from the shop Friday, I think. Got the rear end fully rebuilt. The all new Tomkin parts, national bearings, new national seals and stuff for the axle. New, new axles, because the old axles were cracked. From where? Well, I mean, I uh, wouldn't surprise me. Like I said, this thing's probably got 300,000 miles. This is on 97 Ranger. This thing's got over 300,000 miles on it. Take it in, and I get uh, the shop to fix it. Now, these people are ASC certified. And I know the guy at the shop really well, so I know he does pretty good work. So, I took it in, got him some work. He does the job, I get the truck back, leaves the shop, no problem. Smooth, feels good, and uh, you know, there's no noise. Well, after a little bit of driving it that day, which I think it was, yeah, it was Friday, because that's when I got it back, and I started noticing a little bit of a noise. I'm like, it almost sounded like coming from the transmission, which I know the transmission's got a little bit of an issue because it got a little rattling noise, and sometimes it almost sounds like a little metal-on-metal -metal contact. But this sound that I'm hearing is a whirling noise, uh, or a, well, it is a whirling noise, but it's also got like a whine noise to it, uh, but more so with the whirling. Now, one or two things are probably going on with the rear differential although everything's brand new everything's replaced either the preload has loosened itself up or the pinion bearing is faulty which i wouldn't understand why that would be if it was if it's brand spanking new it shouldn't even be faulty but if it wasn't installed properly i could kind of understand that but i'm kind of leaning more towards the preload maybe bagging itself off somehow uh, now the whining noise that can be caused by the ring gear and the pinion gear not meshing up like it's supposed to so Saturday I take the thing for a drive and the whirling noise is just golly just god awful getting worse so y'all stay tuned because I'm getting ready to take this truck down the road so y'all can hear what's going on Going in third gear. Going into fourth. I don't know if it's picking it up or not, but when I decelerate a little bit, then it starts doing the whirling. Right now it's not too bad, but it is there. And once that rear end and that differential and stuff starts heating up a little bit, then you really start hearing that whirling a little bit more. There it goes. Sure, y'all could probably hear that I'm in fourth gear, I ain't even swapped down to third yet. Get over it. Huh? Only does it when it's in the higher gear. And you got a little bit of a whine to it when I'm slowing way down and uh, that can also be caused from the gears the pinion gear and the ring gear not meshing up perfectly
put you on pause real quick. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm going to go ahead and hit down this back road real quick. And I've got both my uh, front windows up. But what I'm doing is I'm going to leave my uh, back window open so that way y'all might be able to hear it a little bit better. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to press in the, well, I'm going to press in the clutch, and I'm just going to put this thing in neutral. I've got it in neutral now. It still whirls. I read on a forum uh, <clears throat> the other day, might have been yesterday, they said that uh, you can take and drive, shut the put it, put the vehicle in neutral, shut the vehicle off, and let it coast. And what that does is eliminates is it the transmission or is it the uh, rear differential? Well, everything sounded coming from the back. Now, if you do hear a little bit of rattling noise, I do have a little issue in the transmission area. When I'm accelerating it, you don't really hear it much as far as the whirling noise. You still hear it. But you hear more so of it when I let off. I said you hear it more so when it speeds get up and RPMs get up a little higher. I don't know why, but it feels like the rear end kind of... When I'm going around a corner, it feels like the rear end's wanting to dog a little bit. This truck's getting ready to go back to the shop because I ain't no happy camper about it. Let me get up here and turn around. <laughs> 